Summer is peak motorcycle riding season, and with reports showing a 10% rise in motor vehicle crashes, safety is important. The Motorcycle Safety Foundation is celebrating 50 years of education and training this year. Joining us now, Motorcycle Safety Foundation rider, coach, and safety expert, Andrea Yu. Hi, Andrea. Hi, JJ. Man, there are so many motorcycle riders here in the Las Vegas Valley, and I know that you have some really valuable tips to share. Absolutely. I mean, I know Vegas can be hot, so we always tell motorcyclists to wear all the gear all the time, starting with your helmet, you have a jacket. I have a nice perforated jacket here. It's mesh, so it means it lets a lot of air come through, but also keeps me protected. It's also abrasion resistant, and it has armor in here. So in case there is a mishap, you know, I'm very well protected. I also wear riding pants with armor, over the ankle boots, those are riding shoes, and then we have gloves and eye protection, of course. I think, you know, motorcyclists, and my brother is one, uh, they have such a passion for hitting the road, for sure. But safety, it, it's so important. And I know there's some particular issues during the summer. Yeah, so in the summer, a lot of times people think that it's too hot and they just kind of either want to go without the gear. But if you wear gear, wear light colored gear especially, it helps people see you. Um, and then you want to ride as if you're invisible. So it really helps your mindset ride you're gonna be much more defensive, you're gonna be much more aware. Really keep that 360 degree um, of awareness, checking your mirrors as a motorcyclist. But we also ask drivers and truck drivers to just not rely on their automotive um, technology. So check your blind spots, look twice for motorcyclists, especially as you're pulling out into the road or if you're making a turn or merging into lanes because a lot of times we're just smaller and you just can't see us. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, you showed us your perforated jacket and the very cool helmet that you're holding. Is there any other gear that you'd like to share? Um, I do have, I'll put it, pick it up here. These gloves actually have um, knuckle protectors too. And then there's actually really great protector on the palm in case you do have a slide, but gloves are great. This one tends to be a gauntlet. There are shorter gloves out there for the summer riding season, also perforated. Um, and then we also want to talk about like training because the best way to get, yes, the best way to get into motorcycling is to get training, get licensed. Um, if you take a safety class, a lot of insurance companies also give you a discount. Um, if you already know how to ride, another thing to do is take a refresher course. Again, you could take that safety class. It could help you with your insurance discount. Um, and then a lot of experienced riders decide, oh, maybe I want to try stuff off-road. The Motorcycle Safety Foundation offers a dirt bike school and adventure bike rider course. So that's for both on and off-road riding. Because Vegas, you guys have some great places to ride both on and off-road. So that's a really great thing to do out there. Yeah, absolutely. It's fun to know those favorite rides around the valley, for sure. How did you get into motorcycle riding and who trained you? <laughs> so I used to work in a newspaper and I had a 20 mile commute and I just wanted a more fun way oh. to get to work. And I also want to save, uh, save on gas because, you know, gas prices are up. So motorcycles really helped me have a fun way to commute, save on gas. And then I just started thinking, oh, this is a fun way to kind of tour America. And I actually did um, a cross country trip. I've done a couple other long, um, several day trips, but it's so much fun to see the country on a motorcycle because you're really, you are exposed to the elements. You can smell the things, you can feel the wind, yes. you know, even through your jacket. It's so much fun. Oh my gosh, you make it sound so much fun. Thank you for sharing your passion for uh, motorcycles with us today. Where can people go for more information? They can go to the Motorcycle Safety Foundation website. It's msf-usa.org. There's a lot of safety tips out there on that website, including a pre-ride checklist. So before you go on a ride, check over your bike. You wanna make sure that you check your tires, your oil, your cables. Um, the checklist is there, it's a T-Clocks checklist. And also you can find all these different training sites uh, near you, just type in your zip code and it'll pull them up. Super, Andrea, thanks for all the great information. If you would like to know more about all the motorcycle safety tips that Andrea just shared, visit the website right there on your screen.